Alright, hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only, and welcome to Mass Builder. I found this game on Steam, and the developers are Vermillion Digital. And the publishers are Psyche, I think it's Psyche Project. But anyway, let me go ahead and read the description here. Commanders. Customize and build your mechanical assault skeleton suits, aka mass, and lead the fight against the alien invasion bent on exterminating the human race. The fate of humanity is in your hand. Yeah, it was, it was just that short and simple. Uh, it's in early access right now. It just released today and it has a demo, which is what I'm trying out right now. Without further ado, let's get into the demo. It is single player, from what I know. Uh, let me check some settings. See what they all have. Let's turn this down just a tad. Okay. Very high settings. They have ultra settings. Always want to see what they look like on ultra. Camera sensitivity and lock. Wait. Yeah, lock on and close combat. All right, let's go. So literally you can build your own mech inside of this. Like I'm not going to be <laughs> pretty too anal about this, but you guys know I'm a huge fan of like skinnier, more mobile like mechs, like Edmund Galleon. Edmund Galleon had some like really acrobatic, speedy robots. Or mechs. I've always been more of a fan of those, you know, who can do tricks and, you know, have like all this mobility into them. I was never a huge fan of like the real bulky ones that can barely move. Oh my, we have a waifu, Rina. Okay, so I'm guessing she's gonna teach us how to do everything. Mercenary Company. Huh. What would I choose as my company's name? Mm. Let's go with High Dreams. Okay, so now we create our mechs. We have different frames. Got mechanical assault. Wait, what? Okay. So I'm guessing that's things you already saved. Okay, so let's look at the armor. Okay, so they got quite a lot of pieces you can change. You change the joints and neck and stuff. Okay, so you can raise it. Okay, a lot of customization here. I like that. Dude, I can spend hours like making this. Now equip all your armor and stuff. Oh, so you can edit everything individually too. Okay, hold on. Let me see if I'm doing any of this right. <laughs> Oh, these are the eyes, right? Okay, so yeah, it's showing eye colors. So, since I'm more of a green guy, go ahead and edit it more green. Oops, I didn't save it. 
Okay, so everything you do, you gotta save. Alright, so... I don't know what sub elements are, to be honest. Edit sound. Okay, there we go. Okay, now I'm starting to understand a little bit. Style. Wait, that screwed up again. Okay, armor. There we go. The rest of stuff that's locked. So everything you got to unlock, or everything else. But then again, this is the demo, so they probably gave us limited stuff. Okay, I'm missing something here. Something I'm probably not understanding. Okay, so they have different styles over here too. That you could change to. You just can't see it when it's uh, the darker colors. Okay, so they have different patterns. I wonder if you, if they'll let you like upload your own. Wait a minute. So. Okay, so now I'm just confusing myself the most. Because I... I think I'm all over the place. I'm trying to figure out how do you would change that plate. Doesn't tell you much about that. We could change the design. That means there's probably a design on the helmet, right? Is that missing? Somewhere on it. Label. Okay, so this is on the front of the face. Okay, I'm understanding. Never mind. At least I'm starting to understand somewhat. I don't want to change this color though. I kind of just want to change like the arm colors. And I don't feel like I'm getting close to any of that. Even that one. 
I like the little glare it has off of it because the eyes are making this glow up and light up a little bit. You can't zoom from what I know. I haven't found a button that allows me to zoom yet. I mean, I can escape and go out. Okay, so if you escape and go out, then you're, you're allowed to zoom. Dude, that's pretty neat. Hold on. I mean, I may be confused right now of how to change, like, separate colors and all that. That's actually pretty damn dope. There has to be- okay, I'm missing something here. That's for sure. Like, these change the color of this, but how do you make those to different colors? Wait, hold up. Okay, I understand. I get it. There we go. That's- that's really weird. You have to go into actual style to understand how this works. That's weird. But we figured it out. We figured out how to change every individual color. You literally have to find it and confirm it. Whoops. But we understand now. Okay, so you can also have a color. Chest plates. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with this one. Waste. Oh, you can build, but it costs you. I don't even know how much money I have. Oh, have I not been confirming this stuff? <laughs> Probably not. I should gonna just go with that one. Okay, so you can choose which, like, uh, packs you- oh my god, jeez. So if you want, like, the more heavier type, you do that. You know, I don't think about it, I haven't really watched too much of Gundam anymore. Let's make this one. I don't even know if we have gold or anything or money. Yeah, I like that one. Our cup. <laughs> Literally what it is. Yeah, we're just gonna stick with that one. Why not? Okay, so we can change the left or right pads. So you can mirror it out of sight too. You do the same thing for shoulders. That's not even shoulder. So I'm guessing when a full game comes out, it's gonna be exactly like this. But it will probably have like more options, is what I'm guessing. Like, I'm just going through all the customization just so you guys can understand, like, how in-depth this stuff is. It would do a mission or two. This seems interesting, let's make that.
Oh, we have ourselves a tail. <laughs> Actually, is there anything longer down here? I'm guessing it also affects uh, how much we weigh too, right? That's at least what I've been thinking. Nah, that ain't actually as good looking as I thought it would be. So, the thing is... It just says single player. So, how much are they gonna add to this game is the real question. Like... If you can't really play with friends, or if it's not like... You know, co-op. Then what's the point of making your mech? Because you're not really showing it off to people. You know, doing missions with friends and stuff like that. I'm curious. What's what's the end game with this game? What are they aiming for? Well, like I said, it's it's cool overall. I like the in-depth designs. It's just that what are they what future do they see the game going towards? And this is just like questions from like just looking at the demo. Because obviously the demo is not gonna show you everything that the main game will have. And the right side. We're gonna give it more of that. You know, loosen gear. And, oh, okay, so they also have heels of it. So this. Oh no, I just kind of like that. Alright, and that's pretty much all... Wait, no? Has more, jeez. Guess I'll just make this side, like, a little bit more badass. Okay. Now I'm just going to change my colors and then we're just going to hop straight into some missions. Alright, and we're back. We found some weapons. True. So we got sword, as does heat, cold damage, thunder, or shock damage. Seems like you can put accessories on them too. Okay. They also have like these little knuckles too, is what I'm guessing. They have a spear. They have somewhat of a great sword. And they have guns. I'm guessing those are like rockets. I'm guessing these are drones? Maybe? Yeah, I'm not sure. Single shot. I don't know if it's equipped or not, to be honest. Yeah, it needs to be kind of tuned to be more like user friendly a little bit. It 
definitely doesn't seem too user friendly, but you can kind of get around after a while. Oh, there is multiplayer. Then why did it say? Oh, it's in development. Oh, okay. I see. I see. I see. I see. I'm not even going to pronounce that. Because <laughs> I know I butchered the hell out of it. Arena's Bay. Did I say Arena? Rita. Mission start. Okay, wow, we have a lot of weapons. Oh, jeez. Okay, you can fly too. Oh, it's... The trolls aren't too bad. Obviously, if you like play at a higher sensitivity, you're gonna definitely need to up that a little bit. Well, quite a bit. Yeah, it, it's kind of janky of how, you know, the camera moves. So, from on here are your other weapons. So you can change among those. <laughs> Okay, so you gotta, like, tap one of the keys multiple times. So, I would tap three to switch between these, tap three to switch between this. If you guys have played, um... What's a good example? Oh, there's a lock-on button, too. Okay, never mind. You don't really need it too much. But if you guys have played, let's say, Halo 4 2, it's kind of like that. Oh, I can't go over there? Oh, yeah, I did. You, you can rely on your own aim if it's, like, too far away. Or if it's up close, you can just lock on. Am I saying? Oh. Yeah, there's another button to get these guys to attack. I think I missed it. Okay, that doesn't do too much damage. Okay, let's see if I can find the button for these guys. Okay. But I am. So it's my E button that does that. For like the shoulder cannons. If I lock on, does that go right where I put it? Okay, no, it does not. <laughs> so I thought it would. Let me go ahead and grab these battle points. I don't know what they're used for, but no, screw it. I haven't figured out how to use the drones yet. Maybe I did miss something. I was just speeding through, I wouldn't even lie. So you do get credits. It's actually pretty easy to move around in, that's for sure. Okay.
It just looks like a generic character. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Okay, so we passed that. Now we're supposed to go here. Okay, this game is actually not that bad, dude. I like it. Mission start. Okay. It's kinda difficult to go up against these guys in like melee. And Jesus Christ, these guys they freaking eat damage. I'm sure. Headshots counts for more, right? Probably. Or maybe you will hire the heat, like hit certain weaknesses. I'm guessing you would have to definitely hit like certain weaknesses. That's why they give the free aim. Investigate it, not blow it up. I would have failed the mission just there. Next hour? Okay. Okay, so you can fly and shoot too. Oh wow, they have definitely a lot of different enemies. Some of them are faster than the others, some of them that look like they hit pretty hard. Or just tanky boys. Very tanky boys. Yeah, there we go. Reload. Oh god, there's quite a little bit of lag there. <laughs> okay, so you can charge too. To continue a combo. Okay, maybe melee isn't like too bad. I wasn't really using melee just because it felt off a little bit. So I guess you would have like a repair drone that would help you out. Let me see something. So they have so the drones haven't really done much. Maybe I'm missing something. Oh no. Oh dear god. 
<laughs> Tim doing that just made the whole game just like. Maybe it was the bad idea to change it to uh, Ultra. <laughs> My computer's a fucking beast, and that's definitely not over. If it still does it, then it just needs optimization. Okay, nah, it's good. Okay, so there are weaknesses. Oh, so you're just gonna hit your own teammates like that, dude? Just need some ammo, thank you. I like that there's friendly fire though, you know, keeping it a little bit realistic in a way. I've totally forgot about these. Okay, I should probably stop. <laughs> Like, I'm almost dead. I'm gonna need you guys to die already. So, from what I see, there haven't been a wait. There hasn't been a way to, like, heal yet. I'll say, where the hell are my, uh, rockets? These last guys have been like really tanky. Okay, so it reloads over time. You gotta keep changing weapon constantly. Oh my god. This battle. How long have we been doing this? Since <laughs> Oh god, he learned a new attack. Up, oh, auto locking onto him. I 
Okay. That's annoying. So that weapon I had ran out of ammo. Okay, so is he not taking damage anymore? Because of these guys? I think it is. Okay, there we go. He's taking damage again. Barely. Okay, go like this. there. I mean, I would have had a lot more HP if I wouldn't play around, you know? <laughs> okay, so we can't take damage during this. That's what it is. My bots are fighting him, is what I realized. Okay, so when he's ramming, he's also immune to damage. So I've been wasting more ammo than usual off that. We're almost there, boys! Let's say, give me that, please. Game. Can I? Thank you. Give me that back. Woo! Not too damage! Ah, I got it. <laughs> ah, oh god. This game is a lot more. Intense than I thought it was. Jeez. <laughs> Mission clear. Especially when you have to learn the boss after a while. And stop toying around like I was, but you know, we're not gonna talk about that. <laughs> but it's not open world, it's the instance based game, unfortunately. You know how amazing that would be if this was like open world? You can pretty much fly anywhere you wanted outside the mission area. I notice I haven't really used too much of my flying either. During all that. Like in the midst of it, I just totally forgot about it. <laughs> Which could have saved me a little bit of damage too. But yeah, that's basically it. That's all you can do is just that mission, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you can only go to two missions. I'm pretty sure the game just released two. Yeah, if you want to play the full game, it is $25 by, like, default. But it's on a discount for 10% off right now, which is, like, $22.50? $22.50? So, yeah. With that said, guys, I'm going to be heading out. And if you guys want to try out the game yourself, go ahead and head there on Steam. Until then, peace out.